Uh, good morning, YouTube. God bless you on this wonderful Saturday morning. Did y'all see that shit show last night? Lord, help me. I was on my volunteer job just minding my business. <laughs> Guess what I ran into? <laughs> y'all see it? I'm allowed to talk about it because my name was mentioned, I, I think, uh, something like nine times. So I can, if I, if I choose to, and I do. Y'all see this grown ass bald headed man last night begging for this goddamn AdSense check. <laughs> my bag! My bag! You can't put my bag! Oh, me gold! Me gold! Oh, me gold! Sound like the leprechaun. I want y'all, I'm allowed to, to play a, a, a bit of this, this mess for, <laughs> for, for, uh, commentary's sake. So I want you to feast on this for a minute and then you let me know. We'll do our commentary after that, okay? But I want you to at least hear what I'm talking about. Come on. Heidi, I would never do this. Yeah, on this did, Hold, on. Hold on, everybody. And this is the problem with the sector. See, I could go on Sean or anybody's platform and not do this and not have to curse, even though I may not like them. I went on properly bona fide platform who does not care for me, and we had a good conversation. <laughs> All I'm asking is to be grown people. What kind of teacher do this? Self respect in the room. I don't want a whole lot of cussing and stuff. Now, if you don't like James, say, James, I don't like you because you do this, do this, and do this. And James going to say he don't like you. Control so issue. What kind of teacher do this? I don't. Well, well, he he got his certification. <laughs> he got a certification, and that's all I'm gonna say. But at the end of the day, don't don't mess up your brand because people look at it. And really, Be patient, people. It's coming. And all I'm saying is, I'm going to respect people on their platform, and I don't think it's out of control. But this is a learning lesson. Just because we don't get along with each other, that don't mean we have to do this. But I'm still serious about letting people have their say without being interrupted because it's only the right thing to do. Well, really, 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 TV. Can, uh, I talk to her? Can I talk to the other lady in the room? Go ahead. Because y'all are so rude. Y'all are men. Y'all supposed to be gentlemen. And and I'm just getting pounced well, this, is, this is my show, Heidi. And I can run it how I want to. But I, I bring you on because I like you. But but my thing is I can't. And let me tell you something. I don't want this to be a wily thing. Because I like you, Heidi. And we cool. But you got to respect. I don't claim to like everybody. But you know you what you need to do right now? You need to lighten the fuck up. You need to no, have a little no, fun. No, no, Heidi, I mean, you, you're too uptight right now. Heidi, you're too fucking uptight. Persona. You're too uptight. Calm the fuck down. No, no Heidi. Calm down. Calm down. No, no, absolutely. Calm down. Yes. This is my persona. Calm the fuck down. So, so, so do you calm down, to... Bishop. I want you to fucking calm down. I want you to we stop fucking up, up my I'm back. My back. In the room. Up my Nobody back. is no, a family. Look, 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 Another commercial now. 
So let me tell you where that, where that takes place. I know y'all don't remember all that stuff. Anyway, did y'all see that? <laughs> this is y'all pastor now. Hold on, hold on a minute. So that was Heidi Fly has called into Jay Wilson's chat. He says she he coerced her to come on because she didn't initially want to come on because she knew James James was going to be on. They were having problems. But he uh, kept insisting that she come on to his channel, right? And then at some point, he lost control of his panel. <laughs> and we see the reason why he's always having this, this moral high ground. Oh, I don't say bad words. Oh, I don't say cuss words. I don't say cuss words. Oh, like it's biblical or something. He is only concerned with the bag. In the middle of this thing, he was saying, Oh, my bag. You can't mess with my bag. My bag. Oh, no. Oh, you messing with my bag. <laughs> <laughs> what them young people say <laughs> they gave me my life <laughs> anyway people so here we are a day later he decided to have another call in he's got a new toy to play with so now he wants to have all these call ins but Jay Wilson wants you to call in and he wants to have total control of you why did this dude think that Miss Heidi Fly had any concern whatsoever about his goddamn bag you want a bag? Get a job. <laughs> so he wanna see he wants y'all all to think that he you are all morally corrupt because you cuss. It ain't got nothing to do with hitting your moral corruption. It's got to do with him not losing his ad checks checks have or having his his channel flagged. That was something else. So he was this is your this is the person who's supposed to be in ministry now. So now, of all the people on the panel, I think the one calling himself pastor is the least spiritual of all of them. Because Heidi was was insulting James. He was sitting there just as calm, letting him go by. But the pastor just went into a, a tyrant, a tirade of insults. <laughs> oh, Lord. What else out here? So this boy was online last night. He came over for four hours, 3.44 minutes, three hours and 44 minutes, right? Four hours live. I guess you really need that bag. He went off for about 10 minutes and came back on now to, to check Miss Treacy and a couple of others for an additional two hours and 15 minutes. This boy was online for seven hours straight. That's nice. <laughs> Let me get it right. You'll say I'm, I'm lying. So six, six hours, six point such and such hours. Six hours. Can you imagine that? So at the time that you guys go to your jobs, go to work. Some of you don't put in eight hour days. Some of you put in six hour days, whatever. When you came home, he would still be arguing with these people, right? Still trying to get that almighty, uh, almighty dollar. And he's so concerned with that woman saying her cuss words. <laughs> I wish he had my ass on there. Girl, don't, Jay Wilson, listen to me. Don't ever invite me to be on your lives or on your channel. Don't do it. Don't do it. If he want to come on and act right, if he won't say no bad, don't do it to yourself, honey. Jay Wilson, there is so much bottle up inside of me I want to say to you. Don't do it to yourself. That's what them big prison guards used to tell me when I fuck up in prison. They would say, Hey, don't do it to yourself, boy. <laughs> all right, all right. So this panel was supposed to be talking about second panel in two days. Supposed to be talking about education, right? Heidi Fly got some serious issues with uh, public education. Apparently her son has had some troubles in schools, and I think she pulled him out of school and doing homeschooling now. And she's recommending this for others. They had this this guy on here. What was the doctor? I mean, the te school teacher's name. She got really hot about this school teacher. She found him incompetent. I didn't find him incompetent. I found him drunk. Now I don't know what school district you work for, sir, but you should not be on here on no on no live with Jay Wilson drinking. That's not a good look for a teacher. All it takes is one of your enemies. Take this done to the school board and you can mess your job up. Right? By something you said when you were drunk. So don't do that again, sir. That was not a good look for a teacher. 
The other lady, she's helping to be holding herself together pretty well because she wasn't drinking. <laughs> that poor Jay Wilson. What is he? Oh, he's so stupid. Boy, that boy is dumb. He really thought that this girl was gonna gonna not say the f word to protect his bag. What are you sending out checks, Jay Wilson? Somebody give a damn about you? Hell, if you send up her living above your means, honey, don't expect us to keep your check coming. You ain't paying on these damn people. Control junkie. Who else a view with us? I was listening to somebody else just a few minutes ago. Which one of these girls was it? Nicole Tyler talking about that small penis. And she was talking about how it would be difficult to uh, be in a relationship with Jay Wilson because he was so controlling that even when she's on the bottom, she'd be saying, turn me over here. Oh, no. Raise that leg over there. Oh, no. Uh-uh. I told you to put it in the left. Put it in the right now. Oh, 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 oh that's it. That's it. Stay right there. Keep pumping right there. Power bottom. Jay Wilson, do yourself a favor. Stop talking about this boy that you met. I made the mistake when I first talked about, spoke about him when you brought him online. I thought you were together for three months. It turns out you were together for three weeks. So now you're four weeks in. Stop trying to <laughs> talk about this boy like you were in some gay relationship. In a month, the man works a full-time job. So he ain't coming over your house every night. So maybe you've seen him so a, a month for four weeks. So you've seen him four times. And you in a relationship. Couldn't wait to brag on it. Don't do that to yourself. And do not bring that boy back. You write about that. He said, oh, I won't bring him back online because people want to talk stuff. Good idea, Jay Wilson. Because you're supposed to be pumping about how uh, how you got it going on. That's not the right uh, prop for you to use. Just leave it like that. Anyway, what else I kind of say about this situation last night? I couldn't believe this child after he don't get up there for four hours running his mouth. Come right back on again and for two more hours. Damn, are you that desperate? How much are you behind on that mortgage? That's what I want to know. Uh, was it last week you were talking about you making $1,000 a week? I said, well, well, maybe you got a point. This nigga's making uh, $1,000 a week. But at what cost? Where is your self-respect, Jay Wilson? You on there, you sound like the, 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 the damn leprechaun. In the Leprechaun movies. Me gold. Me gold. Give me me gold. <laughs> you sound like a goddamn fool. All this is for money. Wouldn't it just be easier just to put a few hours in somewhere, Jay Wilson? I mean, you just got the whole damn country of, of, of internet. I mean, YouTube. Wherever they, they, they connect that. Anybody can look in and see. You just, you just, is this dignified to you? Is this, I've never seen a pastor act this way. Even the cusser, cussing pastor cusses with some purpose. He does some good, right? <laughs> I just never asked anybody with the, to display this kind of behavior. What are you doing? How do you face your congregants? And more importantly, how do you face your alumni? Do you go to the, to the, to the, uh, to the, what do you call those re re reunions? What do you tell them when you go to reunions? I mean, I'm sure that many of them are, are, are have huge jobs, successful careers, families, marriages, relationships. I mean, what, what do you tell them? Oh, look, check me out on YouTube. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. <laughs> okay, people, this ain't going to be long, but uh, I couldn't resist. And plus, he did use my name many times. He want to go in there and still talk about my, my grill. I don't know why my grill is so offensive to him. Just something to grab onto. Idiot. <laughs> you guys start, y'all, I get no reaction to him. He comparing him with Trump. Not the Trump, but about money, because he ain't got none. But some of the personality characteristics. I want you to start paying attention. Pay attention to how much he brags. Pay attention to how much he puts other people down. Pay, and pay attention particularly to this. How many times he gives people he's arguing with or gives his opponents or people who don't like him very much, how often does he give them names, nicknames? Trump, Little Marco, Lion Ted, all this, right? Wilson, Bishop Brodaughter, <laughs> Deacon Cyclops. Everybody's got a name, you know. 
I guess I'm granddaddy now. How in the hell am I granddaddy? You are 50 years old, dude. How in the fuck you think you're not a granddaddy? If you had a child, and let's be generous, let's say 20. Your 20-year-old child now, the child you had when you were 20, would now be 30 years old. He would already have two or three kids. You're a granddaddy too. So why do you keep thinking you were so insulting me because you called me granddaddy? I'm, I'm happy to be alive and happy to be my age. You need to come up with some better material for you to keep coming for me. Now, I know that I will ignite you because you're so easy, because you're such an asshole. So I know that I will constantly have to fight to fight to stay away from all your channels and anybody, any mention of you. Because sometimes the mere mention of your name will send me into laughing spasms, honey. I just like, I just, uh, I was at work last night and I was, <laughs> I was trying to help this gentleman. I, I volunteer for this, uh, it's a recovery program for people in recovery. That's what they hang out there, right? And so I give them a few hours a week for a long time. Honey, I have my headphone on. I have one ear in so I can see if I don't want anything. And I was just about to ring up this man's coffee. And when you start banging on it, you're shaking your head. <laughs> me go, me go, my bag. How you gonna come for my bag? Oh, leave my bag alone. Oh, don't sound no cussing word. <laughs> God save me from ever being that desperate for money. I don't ever want to be that desperate for money, honey. God bless you. I'm sorry. I would rather use my mouth to say my own words. Then be so concerned that somebody's gonna wreck that bag. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go watch it again. <laughs>